Like some other hospitals across the state, Wentworth Douglas in Dover has seen a jump in COVID cases recently. We even went down to as low as like one, one, one patient at one time about two, three weeks ago. Now we're up to 17. COVID hospitalizations up at Elliott Hospital and Southern New Hampshire Medical Center too. All three say a big difference between this uptick and earlier ones is the age of the patients. We see a material decrease in the over 65 age population being hospitalized. That's who was prioritized for the vaccine. And an increase in patients in the 30 to 50 year old range, sick enough to be hospitalized. Their patients are coming in with, with the, the typical symptoms, respiratory distress, body aches, fevers. Um, we have five patients in our ICU, only one fortunately on a ventilator. Uh, what we're starting to see is just, uh, these are uh, household um, uh, patients of you know, people who are exposed uh, in their homes. Um, and what's notable is that they have not been vaccinated. The importance of the vaccine underscored as the hospitals deal with an increase in other patients whose routine health care management stopped during the pandemic. Both of our hospitals are full. And it's not full from COVID. It's from people who have other illnesses, seeking treatment, therapies, surgeries. He says most staff have been vaccinated, so staffing isn't hit by quarantines and exposures as it was in earlier upticks. But he says they are very busy still. And after 13 months, they are also very tired. We're live in Portsmouth. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.